So what is going on guys, NandoPrince93 here with another video and today we're going to go over Microsoft Teams on the M1 MacBook Air. This is episode 3, the first episode had to do with the installation process on the new M1 MacBook Air for the entire main Microsoft suite. Episode 2 we focus on Outlook and now today we're going to focus on Microsoft Teams and see how it runs on the M1 MacBook because this is one of the main Microsoft apps that actually has, that has not been optimized for the M1 Mac. So we have to go through Rosetta to make it work. And let's see if it actually makes it any better or any worse compared to the M1 optimized apps. But let's get right into it, guys. So let's hop right into it, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, it's a little bit of a different vibe here to show off exactly what's going on. But let me know what you guys think about this way of actually presenting the information to you rather than me physically recording the actual MacBook itself. But this episode is all about Microsoft Teams and how it runs on the M1 MacBook Air. So what I'm going to do is just open it up here on the screen right here. So, so as you guys know, Microsoft recently updated the main Microsoft suite to be optimized for the M1 Mac. But two applications that were left out of that optimization were OneDrive and Microsoft Teams. So both of these are still built for Intel chips, right? So when I first downloaded Microsoft Teams, A, I couldn't download it from the App Store, so I had to actually type in Microsoft Teams into Google to get the download. And then once it finished downloading, to actually run it, I needed to install Rosetta, right? And Rosetta is a software that just translates the actual application from an Intel-based one into being able to run on the M1 SoC. And it's amazing how it does it pretty much in real time. There's no lag whatsoever. As you guys saw, I'm gonna quit out of this again and let's see how quickly it opens. So let's open up Microsoft Teams. And as you guys can see, I have a bunch of other stuff going on in the background and look how quickly that opened. Normally on the i5 Intel based MacBook Air that I have still from 2020, it would take a few seconds for it to even open up and then actually launch. So Microsoft Teams, it's exactly the same as the actual Intel version in terms of functionality, how it looks, what you can do on it but it just works smoother, it works a lot. So this isn't gonna be a walkthrough or tutorial of Microsoft Teams, it's gonna be basically how it runs on the M1 MacBook Air, right? So all the chat functionality is there, Teams is there, your calendar syncs across with all of your other Microsoft calendars. So as you guys can see, it syncs with my Outlook calendar from before, which I have sitting right here. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, highly recommend it, go check it out. But this is my new Outlook, as you guys can see, and then it syncs very, very well with Microsoft Teams. And the ability to make outbound calls directly from here is amazing. To look at all of your OneDrive files all in here. So I can go into my OneDrive, check everything out, and you can see that it's very responsive, right? It's very, very responsive. And it's amazing how quickly a Microsoft, you know, swallowed their pride and were like, hey, we need to get these Mac OS users ready to go in terms of optimizing the M1 chip, right? Or optimizing their software for the M1 chip. Now again, Teams did not get optimized, but everything else did, and it works amazingly. Just to show you guys, if I want to open all these very quickly, they open very, very quickly in the background, as you can see, and then they're all there. So I'm going to quit out of these because those are all M1 optimized software. So again, Microsoft Teams works perfectly. It works as advertised, and it works even better because, like I said, with my i5 MacBook Air, I could only video chat and nothing else. And no other applications would work well. Everything would, be, it would get slowed down. Chrome would be very unresponsive whenever I had an active Teams video call going. So in terms of compatibility, it's 100% there. You're still getting the Mac version of Microsoft Teams, so there's a couple settings that I saw that are new that came to the Windows side but didn't come to the Mac OS side. For example, being able to lower background noise. Being able to lower background noise is in the Windows side but not on the actual Mac OS side. So in the Windows side, if you guys use Microsoft Teams on Windows, you'll get another section in here in the Devices Settings section that allows you to cancel out noise in the background. So that's pretty cool, but again, it's not on the Mac OS side. And then in terms of just tying into everything else, it works well. But Microsoft Teams is a great collaboration tool for both internal and external use. It's a chat window, it's a way to have video calls, it's a way to send video meetings to prospective clients, or even hold big town hall meetings, which I was just a part which I was just a part of in this one right here. This is about 80 people. I did it straight from my N1 MacBook Air and it worked amazingly. But again, the potato cam is something that I wish was fixed and fixed quickly. I don't know why Apple can't just throw a nice camera on here, especially when on the iPhones, since probably the iPhone 5, the camera has been better, the selfie camera has been better than whatever web camera Apple's given us. But that's Microsoft Teams in a nutshell. It's just a way to get a VoIP phone, a way to interact with internal employees or external, an ability to collaborate on different projects, 
within different teams and that's why the name is there and microsoft has been doubling down a lot with microsoft teams because they have competitors like slack that had the upper hand and they had to deal with the fact that people were very upset that skype got killed but thank goodness skype got killed because skype was nothing compared to microsoft teams guys but that's going to do for this portion of the video let's go back to the normal view so first off, let me know if you guys enjoyed how I presented this Microsoft Teams review because I did do it in a different format as you guys saw compared to the last video. So let me know if you guys like the screen recording better or if you guys like the physical video of the actual MacBook Air and me showing off the software that way. I kind of like to show it in this route because it makes it a little bit easier for me to show exactly what's going on, but it does take a little bit longer to put together. So just let me know what you guys prefer in the comments below. But as you guys saw, Microsoft Teams works seamlessly, even though it's not optimized quite yet for the M1 MacBook Air. It had to go through Rosetta, so I needed to download Rosetta in order for it to work, but once you do that one time, it works just like any other application, and it still opens just as quickly as all the other M1 optimized ones are. So Microsoft Teams still looks exactly the same as it did on the Intel version of the MacBook Air, but it, it works better. It works a lot faster. For instance, on my i5 MacBook Air, if I had a Teams video call going, I could not use anything else. I mean, yes, I could physically open other applications, but everything was very slow. Chrome was very unresponsive. Same with Safari. So being able to run a Rosetta version of Microsoft Teams on the M1 MacBook Air with zero hiccups and zero lag and allow me to kind of do everything that I need to do and then some is kind of crazy, especially when the only thing that was swapped out between my old one and this new MacBook Air is the M1 chip. If anything, I got less SSD space on this MacBook Air because I didn't feel like I needed all that much, right? But as you guys saw, and like I said, it runs perfectly and I highly recommend it if you guys are in the Microsoft suite already and are de debating whether or not to go with an M1 MacBook or M1 Mac machine because of Microsoft Teams, guys, it works perfectly fine and you will not be disappointed whatsoever. But that's going to do for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment below what you guys want episode 4 to be. I'm thinking maybe Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint. I know that you guys really want to see Excel, but I might save that one for the end because I got to do my homework on that one. But until next time. Thank you.